police are continuing to investigate what's behind a shooting at Fern Creek High School, which sent one teenager to the hospital yesterday. We now know the shooting was not random, but police say the victim was not the intended target. WLKY's Lauren Adams is live tonight from University Hospital, where that 15-year-old boy continues his recovery. Lauren? Vicki, that young man who was shot twice remains here tonight in stable condition. I can tell you he's been visited today not only by the mayor, but friends, family, also members of the church, his father, pastors. Now, as it turns out, police say this was not the shooter's target, but who was or what even prompted the shooting, police still aren't saying. Just one day after shots rang out in the third floor hallway of Fern Creek High School, students returned to class, admittedly haunted by what they saw when... According to police, a 16-year-old sophomore opened fire, shooting another student. I saw another student pull out a gun to shoot another student. That young man, 15 years old, is rushed to the hospital after being shot in the stomach and leg. He remains hospitalized, and neighbor Carmela Esray says her neighborhood now seems eerily quiet. That's what we go to sleep to at night because he plays basketball constantly. As a JCPS teacher, she knew of the situation as it was going on, but only hours later learned just how close it hit to home. When we got home and we found out it was our neighbor boy that got shot, we were just devastated because they are the best family I've ever met. Police say the shooting was not random, but that the young man shot was not the intended target. We don't have any information that leads us to believe it was any bigger master plan than what was executed yesterday. LMPD's Deputy Chief Yvette Gentry says while police and school officials continue their investigation into Tuesday's shooting, they're also focusing on the future. We've experienced it now. We've been training for it for years. Um, but now that it has happened here, we'll take the lessons that we learned and we'll get better. But even as a teacher, Carmela Esray isn't worried about school procedures. Her focus is the family across the street. The boy's father is a pastor. I've had some death in my family, and pastors prayed for me over there a couple of times. And now she's praying for him and his family because she says there's nothing else she can do. We just need our neighborhood and community to keep them in our prayers. I can tell you tonight that Superintendent Dr. Donna Hargens also paid this student a visit. She said earlier today she is grateful knowing that he will be okay. Now tonight there's just no word on how soon this student could be released, but one person I talked to who visited that young man tells me he is doing better than expected. We're live tonight at University Hospital. Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Thank you, Lauren. School city and police officials briefed the media today, saying their response to yesterday's event was successful. But police say they're going to explore additional options when it comes to school safety. Metal detectors are currently in place only at the district's three alternative schools. Police say believe there's more that they can do before taking such measures at Fern Creek High School. The suspected shooter faced a juvenile court judge today where he learned of the charges against him, but the case against the 16-year-old is expected to be transferred to circuit court. County Attorney Michael Connell says it's the law. And it's mandatory that if you're 14 or over and you commit an offense with a handgun that the matter is transferred to uh, circuit court. A detention hearing for high school, soft high school sophomore is expected within 72 hours.